In 1892, eight years before the founding of the city of Mill Valley, shipping magnate Robert Dollar established the Dollar Lumber Company, providing building materials and hardware for the growing new town. Over the course of the next 125 years, ownership passed hands eight times, most recently in 2012, when Jan and Matt Matthews purchased the historic site. Before the Matthews purchased the property, it appeared as though the lumber yard had reached the end of the line and the buildings would be demolished and replaced by apartments or townhomes. Economics, evolution, and progress had made a downtown lumber yard and hardware store obsolete. Matt and Jan purchased the lumber yard with the sole purpose of saving the historic structures from the wrecking ball and the likelihood of a housing complex. With input from the neighbors and the Mill Valley community, they soon envisioned a new commercial property reinventing itself. Small shops, artist studios, offices, and a cafe where ideas explored and drawn up. We, we always, we were shoppers at the lumber yard. We were regular customers. And when they sold the North Yard, we noticed that they quickly built housing there. And when the sign went up on the lumber yard, it said development site. We said, wait a second, we can't lose the lumber yard. So we quickly had to put an offer together. There were already four offers in place. It has a touch of artistic and creative people in it. And it's supportive of the town's history, which is really very important, I think, to all of us here. And that we're saving these buildings. We're saving the atmosphere. And I uh, came down with one of my partners, law partners, and uh, went, went over the site and I was just mesmerized by what he's done and, and what they've done and what they're going to do. Like I say, there's, there's an energy spot here and, and that's that, that the lumber yard really represents that energy of Mill Valley, that bright vibration, if you will, of Mill Valley. And they have gone to great lengths to um, maintain that, that integrity of the, of the space and it's, it's just a wonderful plan. I thought that whatever Jan and Matt came up with was going to be the perfect combination of uh, preserving the historical value and the iconic entrance to Mill Valley was something that was quality and local. And we emphasized in our offer that we were going to you know, renovate in place. And, and not, not tear the buildings not down? Not tear the buildings down. I get this distinct impression as a family venture. They care very much about the project. I think they've even talked about involving their children in it eventually. First of all, we really love the history of it. So having a place where you can go and be surrounded by, you know, Mount Tam and then being in a place that people have been visiting for, you know, 100 years. I think my favorite part about it is the community aspect. Like, you know, if you come back from a bike ride or a hike with your friends, be able to sit around like the fire pit that we have out there and kind of recap, you know, drink a coffee or, you know, just relax with friends. I think that'll be really neat. That's my favorite part. This way we're celebrating the artists, we're celebrating the entrepreneurs, and we're celebrating sort of the essence of Mill Valley. A project like the Mill Valley Lumber Yard is a, a, very much a, a once in a lifetime kind of a project. It is something that a city like Mill Valley uh, hopes for. Um, and then in addition it, it provides this new kind of space that there isn't a lot of downtown. Small art space, small entrepreneur space, so people in Mill Valley have a place where they can work and visit and walk and bike to get there. They're preserving the lumber yard uh, far better than anyone uh, I can imagine doing. So um, it's a, a terrific gift to the city. And we could not have better stewards than Jan and Matt Matthews to take this into the next hundred years by putting their stamp on this project. I think what they're doing is fabulous because they're maintaining that authenticity that we uh, love, those beautiful old buildings, the mill, and they're creating a space that we can continue to enjoy and walk through and experience and our children can experience in that history. probably have you know, given tours to you know, 
a thousand people at least. And what I gained from that experience is, you know, I get feedback from people. God, you gotta have a restaurant. You gotta, you know, wouldn't be cool to have artist space. And so we kind of put this all in the pool. And so our design, with the help of our talent team, represents what we, the feedback we got from the community. A huge detriment to our town. When I met the Matthews after they bought it, I just had to give them huge hugs and as much encouragement as I could. I don't know how often the planning commission gets something which is as close to a slam dunk as this one is. I mean, this is a magical town and this is an extraordinary opportunity for us to do something really special here. We need to be able to see artists working in our community and that is the only person that's ever brought it up. I think it preserves the character of our history, our community. They have our 100% support because of the vision. I live at the Redwoods now and I especially appreciate this project and I thank Matt and Tran for doing what they are doing. The Matthews have been wonderful about reaching out to the neighborhoods and they have been responsive to any and all concerns. I drove by that spot for three years and I could not look at it because I was so scared that it was going to be torn down. They're making this a community place and I encourage you all to keep that in mind and remember that people are walking to these places. I think the Matthews have demonstrated from day one a commitment to their community that they'll be there and that they'll deal with any problems that, that, that might arise. I was thinking tonight, someone mentioned 100 years into the future. Can you imagine 100 years from now, people looking back over the 200 year history of this facility and giving you guys credit as part of its legacy? Thank you. <laughs> Listen, if we're interested in a community of small businesses, each of whom add a unique touch to Mill Valley, then it makes abundant sense to approve this project. We wouldn't be here tonight without such dedicated citizens as Matt and Jan Matthews, or frankly, as committed staff as Ben Smith and Lisa Newman. So I wanna thank you very much. You'll never have a room filled with community people like this again, and I think it's time to move it to the council for a decision. This is a really good project. I was on the Marin Board of Supervisors for 25 years, and maybe in that time, Five or six projects rose to the dignity of not being blasé or boring. And, and that's, what, that's what you've got before you tonight. You've got a huge opportunity. And I've been doing land use planning for, 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 for decades. <laughs> for decades, and I've never, ever, ever seen support for a project. I mean, I die for it. I mean, uh, we, we think that this, the time for this project is now. And we, we hope you take a step to let the council give it life. Thank you. Thank you. Aye. Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 Four zero is one of the commissioners. Well, all in favor. We are excited that the, both the Planning Commission and the City Council approved the project unanimously, 4-0 and 5-0. And now we're on to the building department and we look forward to starting in November. The Mill Valley Herald, they uh, above the fold, says the council approves Lumberyard project. The community is extremely lucky to have this team on board and I hope that the project will be a great success. It's going, to, it's going to be a wonderful gateway, um, the Miller, Miller Avenue gateway, if you will, to Mill Valley is going to be greatly enhanced by this project. It's going to be a glorious asset to the town of Mill Valley, I think. What's really been great is that through this, there's been so much community support, input from neighbors, businesses, that we've really created something that keeps the feel and the history of the lumberyard and at the same time, creates a space that can be enjoyed by everybody in the community. It truly will add vitality to Mill Valley. Um, anytime that there is an activity going from a kiddo event to the fire pits in the winter time, people are drawn to the property and we know it'll add vitality to the community and we look forward to opening up in 2017.